County second graders. It's me, Ms. Trawall, the math coach from White City Elementary, and I'm coming to you today to teach you about time. So you may be wondering, why is time so important? Well, you have to wake up at a certain time every day. Maybe you have to eat lunch at 12 o'clock every day, but you're not sure what time 12 o'clock really is. That's why knowing how to read a clock is so important. So today, we're going to be able to work with time. That's our goal for today, to work with time on two different types of clocks. So we have two clocks that we use. We have a digital clock and an analog clock. First one we're gonna talk about is a digital clock. Malia, can you say digital clock? Digital clock. Nice job. So a digital clock is just numbers. It shows us the numbers. We have the hour here, and then we'll have the minutes after the hour next to it. So a digital clock just shows us the numbers, and we see that most often. Maybe we see it on our watches. Maybe we have iPhones or tablets or any kind of phone that shows us the time. Do you have any digital clocks around your house? Maybe the microwave, maybe on the TV. It just tells us the numbers. So that's one that we see most often. And the second clock is an analog clock. Malia, can you say analog clock? Analog clock. Great job. So analog clock, we don't see it as often, but sometimes we might see it in our classrooms or in buildings, and, or you might have one at home. I do, right here, this is my analog clock, and it tells me the time. So the analog clock is a little bit different because it has two hands that help us know what time it is. A short hand, which is the hand for the hour, and a long hand, which is the hand for the minute. So when we're trying to figure out the time, we look at those two hands to tell us what time it is. So if we look here, this digital clock tells me it's 11 o'clock. So if I know that it's 11 o'clock on my digital clock, I would like for my analog clock to say that. So I'm thinking if my shorthand is the hour, I'm gonna move the shorthand to the 11. And if my minutes are zero, it's no minutes past the hour. So now my clock shows 11 o'clock. Should we try another one? Yes. All right, let's try one o'clock? Should we try one o'clock? Sure. Okay, so the digital clock I have here shows one o'clock. And I wanna show that on my analog clock. So I'm going to move my hour hand to what number do you think, Malia? One. One, great job. And my minute hand is gonna go around until it gets to the 12 because there's no minutes past the hour. So now my clock shows one o'clock. What about half past one o'clock or 1.30? Do we think we could do that? Uh -huh. We do. Well, do we know what shape a clock is? Yes. What, is, what shape is it? A circle. Great. So a clock is the shape of a circle. And I know that half past or 30 minutes after the hour, it's just halfway around the circle. So if I wanna know where 1.30 would be on my clock, I already have my hour at one, so I'm gonna move my minute hand around halfway till I get to the six, which is halfway around. And now, what do you notice about the hour hand, Malia? Where is it? It's in the middle of the one and the two. Great job. So it's in between the one and the two because we were going around our clock or our circle and we stopped halfway. So now we show 1.30, right? So we have our analog clock here that's helping us tell the time and we use the hour hand and the minute hand to help us. So to finish off, you're gonna be practicing in Canvas, but we have a book that we're gonna read, and as I read it, my helper Malia is going to turn the clock to show the times that I read. Are you ready? Let me get my book. There you go. All right, so you're gonna hold the, the clock in front of you so that you can change the time, and then you'll show when we read it. So the book is called Hickory Dickory Dock. Hickory Dickory Dock. The mouse ran up the clock. 
The clock struck one, and down he run. Hickory dickory dock. So she's got one o'clock on our clock. Her hour hand is at the one, and her minute hand is at the 12. Okay, ready for the next page? Nibble on, bibble on bees. The mouse bit off some cheese. The clock struck two, away he flew. Nibble on, bibble on bees. And I think, what do you guys think? Can we see this? Is she right? She's got the hour hand at two and the minute hand at 12 because there's no minutes past the hour. Nice job, Malia. Honey bee, bunny bee, boo. The mouse ran into a shoe. The clock struck three, he scratched a flea. Honey bee, bunny bee, boo. Did the clock struck three? Hold it up. I think so. We're at an hour at three and our minute hand at 12. Apple eye, dimple eye day. The mouse just loves to play. The clock struck four. He rolled on the floor. Apple eye, dimple eye day. Four o'clock. Great job. Milky Way, Silky Way sat. The mouse got chased by a cat. The clock struck five. He's glad he's alive. Milky Way, Silky Way sat. Five o'clock. We've got our hour hand on the five and our minute hand is still on the 12 because we're still at zero minutes past the hour. Slippery whippery whirl. The mouse showed off to a girl. The clock struck six. He finished his tricks. Slippery whippery whirl. And we are at six o'clock because we have our hour hand at six and our minute hand went around and it's zero minutes past six. Great job. Chickadee rickety run. His papa calls him son. The clock struck seven. His real name is Kevin. Chickadee, rickety, run. Seven o'clock. You're doing awesome. Icicle, bicycle, burnt. The mouse had pie for dessert. The clock struck eight. He licked the plate. Icicle, bicycle, burnt. Eight o'clock on our analog clock. Slappery dashery deers. The mouse washed off his ears. The clock struck nine. He gave them a shine. Splashery dashery deers. Peekaboo teekaboo took. His mama read him a book. The clock struck 10, she read it again. peek a bee teek a boo teek Tippy-toe, hippy-toe head. The mouse knelt by his bed. The clock struck 11, his prayers went to heaven. Tippy-toe, hippy-toe head. 11 o'clock, and we're almost all the way around the clock. Silvery bilvery beams. The mouse had wonderful dreams. The clock struck 12. Now dream yourselves. Silvery bilvery beams. Do we have 12 o'clock? Great job, Malia. So we went all the way around the clock with the mouse, right? Yes. So remember today we learned about a digital clock and what's the one you've been working with? analog clock. And we learned about an analog clock. And when you go into your canvas, you'll be able to work on the pages. And remember, you're checking your time by looking at the hour hand first, which is the short one, and it tells you the first set of numbers. And then the second one, which is the longer one, and it tells you the, tells you the what? What does the long one tell us? Minute. The minutes. Bye guys, we'll see you next time. Say bye. bye.